Hi guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to share with you not only a Disney trip announcement but also a haul on all of the things that I have over the last like practically year got together, purchased, was gifted, things like that just in preparation of this specific trip. So I am really excited to show you everything that I have that we're going to be packing on our upcoming Walt Disney World vacation and stay tuned because fingers crossed I will have a packing video for you guys as well before I leave. You guys know I love a good packing video and also I have been trying to watch packing videos on YouTube for outfit inspiration and I haven't seen a lot of people sharing like exactly what they're wearing so I will be sharing all of that with you on my packing video but right now I'm going to also show you quite a few things that I ended up purchasing pretty inexpensively after Christmas sales and things like that for this trip. So to start, I am headed to Disney with my family. I, if you're new to my channel, I have three children. I have a 21 year old, I have a 19 year old, and I have a 13 year old. So we're all going along with my husband to Disney. We are going to be there for Festival of the Arts, which is one of the best festivals in Epcot. If you've never been, you really need to check it out one day. They have amazing shows. They have so many great snacks and treats. They have so many hands-on activities that you can do as well and it's going to be a really great time. I have not been to Festival of the Arts since 2020 so I'm really excited to go back. In addition to that we are doing a split stay. One of the resorts is one that has been on my bucket list for a very long time and I have toured it many times with the travel agency. I have dined there multiple times but I've never stayed there so stay tuned for that and we are going to be also headed to a family favorite hotel as well that we have been to many times. We're going for five nights, six days and I just can't wait to share it all with you. But today I'm going to show you a bunch of items, <laughs> settle in, get a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, an alcoholic beverage, whatever you need to get through this video because there's quite a bit of stuff here. A lot of it is clothing, accessories, and a lot of travel gear too. All right, so let's get started. So this, you may have seen this one before. I actually bought this in Disney on the top producer travel agent event that I was invited to. And I thought I was going to wear it on the trip. I actually never ended up wearing it. So I am very excited to be going to Disney during the 100th celebration. And hopefully I can finally wear this shirt. I'm going to be wearing it with these ears that I got from Bippity Boppity Brook. Kind of matches with the, you know, purple iridescent look, which I really love. And I'm really excited to wear this on the trip. I'm going to wear this probably our first day in the Magic Kingdom. And then I found this, it's a men's shirt. I got it in, I think a small or a medium. I got this in a medium. I got this shirt from Walmart for about 12 bucks and I thought it was so cute. It's just a basic Mickey Mouse hoodie. It has the little kangaroo pockets because it might be a little chilly while we're there. Also has a little hood. So I think this is gonna be really great to wear with leggings and sneakers just to be comfy cozy in the park. I'll probably wear a t-shirt underneath it. When you're going to Disney in the winter months, it's very odd because it's probably going to be cold in the morning and cold in the evening, but it might be pretty hot in the afternoon. So you kind of have to dress for everything. So I'm gonna start my days in like a hoodie or a zip up with a t-shirt underneath so that I can just take it off as the day goes on and put it back on in the evening. And then these, actually what I'm wearing right now, this Marvel shirt was $8 on Amazon. I'll leave all the links below. It's also a hoodie, so there's a hood on the back. And this Minnie Mouse, little hoodie as well, look at that, isn't that cute? Was from Amazon for about $8. So it depended what size you got it in. The smalls were $8 and like the mediums were like 22, so that's crazy. So it's not as oversized as I would like it to be, but for eight bucks, I figured I would make it work. Really cute, it just says mini in the corner. Again, you have little pockets, you have a hood, and then you have this, which is so cute. This was something that I actually got for Christmas, and it's also from Amazon. It's a zip up, it has pockets, and the pockets also zipper, which is great for travel, because you can put things in your pockets. When you're going on rides, you can zip it up so they don't fall out. Whatever it is that you have in your pocket won't fall out. 
This has an embroidered little Mickey head on it. So it's just very subtle Mickey Mouse and it's very warm and cozy. And I love that it's a zip up jacket so I can just wear a white t-shirt underneath and take it off if I need to. I promise it's not all clothing. I just put all my clothing on the top <laughs> to get that part done with first. This is gorgeous. So another zip up hoodie from Amazon Essentials. Look at the lining. So this is a really nice soft fleece lining. Don't look at my nails. I still need to do them for the trip, but it has a Minnie Mouse and she's ice skating. Really, really cute. Same concept. I'm gonna wear this probably on our arrival and departure days because I'm coming from New Jersey where currently we're having a snowstorm right now. I'm looking at my window at all of the snow coming down and covering everything. <laughs> so um, it's gonna be nice to have a warm and cozy zip up but then have something light underneath. We're actually going to be going out to dinner on our arrival day. So this is like a nicer shirt that I can wear with maybe a cute pair of mini ears. You guys can see I have my tags on here already because if you've watched any of my packing videos, I have to tag everything that I'm wearing. Otherwise I don't know what I'm wearing for the week. I just like, that's just the way that makes sense in my brain. That's how I plan. I don't know if you guys are aware, but Marshall's has a yellow tag sale. I think it's like twice a year and it just recently happened. So me and my daughter, Emily ran there to get all of this stuff on clearance. And one of the things that I found was this beautiful blue sweater with these pearls on top. And I have some really pretty princess ears that I'm going to be wearing with it. So I thought this would be nice for our night at um, Be Our Guest because we're going there for dinner one night. Just would be really pretty for pictures in the Magic Kingdom, this like Cinderella blue color. I don't know, I just really love it. So I'm hoping that I can change into this one night for dinner with really pretty ears. All right, even though I have a few more clothing items, I'm gonna change it up for you guys and show you some other things that I have for this trip. So this is the Lululemon, what is this called? It's the Everywhere Belt Bag in large, and it's the Wonder Puff. I have really wanted one of these. So many people I have seen wearing these and it's perfect when you're not doing like a full park day and all you need is your phone, maybe some chapstick, some sunscreen, just like the basics. This is the perfect size. <laughs> this is the perfect size for that. I can probably even fit a small water bottle in here. So I was excited to have received this for Christmas. And probably what I'll do is I will definitely be using this in the airport to take my passport in and out and everything that I need getting through onto the plane, through security, all those things. And then I'll put it in my um, personal item bag and I'll probably keep it in my backpack in the park as well so that I can buckle it on the front of me if I need to like continuously access my phone or other things more easily. I just think this is a great, great travel bag to have and I'm excited to be bringing it on this trip. I also have, an, again, part of the yellow tag sale that we went to, these mini ears, how cute are they? So this is like just the basic red hoops and it's by Bobble Bar. And I think there were $10 on clearance and these were actually $8 on clearance. Look at how cute, they're just gold Minnie Mouse hoops, also by Bobble Bar and I think they're gonna be adorable to wear on the trip. Something else I really like to have are these little wristlets that you get for your phone. Um, I just, I tend to carry my phone in my hand a lot. So this just offers more protection because I have it around my wrist. If I let go, drop it, whatever, it'll still be on my wrist and it kind of buckles on like that. So I think this will be really, really cute to have on the trip. It's like this really pretty sparkly, I don't know if you can tell, it's like a really light pink. And I also got, I'll show it here in this clip, but I have a pop socket that is big, sparkly Mickey Mouse ears. And what I did was I stuck it on one of those magnetic discs for the MagSafe cases, and I can more easily take it on and off if I need to, but I just thought it was a really cute way to change up my phone to make it specific to Disney, my love of Disney and a Disney vacation. Okay, this is one of my favorite items, and this was sent to me by a subscriber friend. And I just think it's so beautiful. She had told me that she uses this on a lot of her Disney trips. So she sent one to me as well. And it is this drawstring backpack, Minnie Mouse themed bag. It's so nicely made. It has all of these like little, I'm showing it to you upside down. <laughs> it has all of these like little pouches. So there's like a zipper compartment here, a zipper compartment in the front, the inside. 
appears to be kind of like waterproof. It's very nicely structured. It's not a real flimsy bag. It's really just so beautiful. And thank you to Katie for sending this to me. I absolutely love and adore it. And I am using it on the entire trip. And this little Mickey Mouse is also by Bulba Bar. And I received it from my daughter, Emily, as a Christmas gift. And I just think it's such a cute added accessory to go along with this Minnie Mouse themed bag. So this is the backpack that I'm going to be using on this Disney trip. I needed something kind of more oversized because I am 100% sure that I'm going to be wearing, like I said, a t-shirt with a hoodie or a zip up over it. And in all likelihood, hopefully I'll be taking off the hoodie because it's gonna warm up and I'll have the space in my backpack to store it. So that is the plan. I also have another one of these little um, clip-on selfie ring lights. These come in handy for vlogging and taking photographs and things in the evening. If you like to use your iPhone for all of the things, this is just battery operated and it has a little, it like clips kind of like a chip clip if you've never seen these. And you clip it right onto your iPhone and you can, you know, be able to provide yourself a little bit of lighting if you're filming in the evening or in a darker space, things like that. And then I found these on clearance. I actually also put these in my husband's stocking this year for Christmas, but they were on clearance for $4.25, the liquid IV. I love having these. I will be bringing a water bottle to the park. So the water in Florida doesn't always taste great. So this will kind of add a little flavor to it, but will also help to keep me hydrated as we're walking a million miles through, through the parks every day, hopefully in the heat. I'm hoping to get some sunshine to get away from this wintry weather that we're having here now in New Jersey. Um, but again, since it's going to be chilly in the morning and the evenings, I got these gloves also on clearance. These were um, $8. I missed the yellow tag sale on this. They went on sale the next day. I think they were like six, so whatever. I could have gotten them a little bit cheaper, but I like how they clip together so I can throw them in my backpack and they will stay together. And they're just cute hot pink gloves by BB. And they do have like the tech friendly little fingertips so I can still use my phone and stuff like that. So I picked that up. For the plane ride, I have this blanket. It's a travel blanket that's very compacted in this little case. I think it's gonna come in handy because I always travel with a light blanket and I find that I use it so often. I will keep it in my backpack for if we're watching the parade at night and it gets chilly or I need something to sit on or I need an extra blanket in the hotel room or I need it on the plane. There's so many reasons to have a small light blanket with you. And since this is very lightweight and it even has like a travel strap on the back so I can slip it on the back of my luggage if I wanted to, I think it's really going to come in handy for our trip. I have this neck pillow for the flight. So I'm excited to use this. It does have the little snap so I can like snap it around my luggage as well. Another find from Marshalls. You can tell I did a lot of shopping at Marshalls for this upcoming trip, but I just think it's adorable. It has like the big gold bow on the top and all the little, the little gold bows. And I don't really have a good neck pillow. I think I received one as a gift, but it's like really heavy and bulky. So I probably won't bring that one. I like that, that this one is really lightweight and I can attach it on the outside of my luggage. This year for Christmas, I got Bomba socks. I know so many people are really loving these socks, so I'm excited to try them out. Um, it comes in various different colors, so I'm sure it'll be perfect for the trip. There are four pairs in here. We do have laundry facilities at our hotel, so I am hoping that I can fit everything in a carry-on bag. I'm making everyone in the family pack in a carry-on bag so that we don't have to check luggage and pay for it. So I'm hoping to pack lightly, do laundry, and wear things twice. So I'll just be bringing those on the trip. And then I have a couple of really cute pairs of pajamas. These are from Target. It's the Disney 100th Celebration pajamas. And even though they're holiday themed, I still think it'll be fun for a winter trip and it has Mickey and Minnie and they're ice skating in the snow and it's just really cozy like flannel pajamas. So I'm bringing these and then I also have a pair of pajamas that my husband purchased for me from, I think he got these from Kohl's. So it's the Nightmare Before Christmas, which I love. And the shirt says, best nightmare ever, which is also really cute. It kind of matches my ears too. 
wonder if I could like actually wear this as a shirt if I really wanted to. But I thought that was adorable. And then the really soft like fleecy pants as well. So that's gonna be perfect. And I'm just packing again, the two pairs of pajamas because we can do laundry. My favorite leggings, even though like Lululemon are obviously very nice and very expensive, these offline leggings from, I think they're from Aerie are my favorite because they're a little bit thicker and I like the high waist and it kind of like, if you can see, kind of like really sucks you in in the midsection, which I appreciate. So I'm going to be bringing these, but I did recently get these for the trip as well. And finally, something I am super excited about is this bag. So this is a bag by Atronic and it is a great personal item bag that I'm going to be bringing on the trip. The bottom has a section down here for your shoes. And then there's a zip pocket here, which I actually have all of our magic bands in there right now. So this you can just slip on the handle of your luggage. And then it has another compartment back here. It has lots of storage on the inside. So even though we're doing carry on only, I am sure I can fit so much stuff in this bag. And then it came with these little pouches. So here's like a little pouch that you can put makeup or jewelry in. There's a strap that goes along with it as well. And then it had a couple of shoe bags, which are somewhere in here. And then it has another zipper compartment on the side here. So it's just like it's such a great bag. And it has side compartments as well. So you can slip stuff in here and it's stretchy so that like you have space if you had like a big water bottle that you needed to put in there so this is just a spectacular bag if i can find a link for it i will definitely put a link for this in the description below because if you are doing carry on only this will fit underneath your seat so you can use it as your personal item bag and you could just kind of get the most items packed without having to check luggage. So really smart. This was actually a gift from a friend. <laughs> it's a little like bubble tea um, keychain that I just happened to put on there. And then two items that I'm still waiting to come in the mail today. And with the snowstorm, I'm not sure if it's going to come, but I'm gonna talk about it now because if it does come before I film this video, I can show it to you right here. So I ordered from Amazon a personal item bag for my husband that is large enough to fit quite a bit of shoes, clothing, toiletries, whatever he needs. Again, I wanted to make the most of the fact that we're bringing everything with us rather than checking a bag. So I think this black bag is going to fit everything that he needs. Definitely something that's going to come in handy. So I purchased that. And then I also got this adorable black sweatshirt that says magic coordinator which is perfect for my job basically because i do plan a lot of disney vacations being a travel agent but i am always the one that coordinates our disney world vacation so i thought it would be a fun shirt to wear at the magic kingdom possibly and it's just really cute so i also picked that up from amazon pretty inexpensively and that is everything. I really hope that you enjoyed watching this video. Maybe it gave you some ideas of things to pack on your next Walt Disney World vacation. Please be sure to like this video, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, because again, this is the first of many videos that I'm going to be sharing in my Disney series of videos for our upcoming trip. I hope to share lots of stuff with you guys along the way. So please be sure that you're subscribed. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite item was that I picked up for this particular trip. And I will see you all really soon. Take care. Bye.